What's up, YouTube? It's me, Teej, with another brand new NeoVim nightly feature. For those of you who remember, we talked a little bit ago about a new feature called Global Status Line, also known as Last Status Equals 3, if you remember from the video. And I love this feature. It's been really nice, especially like on stream. I have really large text uh, so that people can see. And so I like having as much space as possible for the status line along the bottom of my window down here, right? Because that means that I can actually still read it instead of only having about five characters width for a split, for example, right? But that sometimes left a bit of a difficulty. A lot of people had problems, say, if you have two splits open, you can't tell what the file is on your left, what its name is or anything like that, because you're only getting one status line, right? And so that's where this new feature comes in with WinBar, once again, made by the wonderful from you. And everyone just give me a clap in the comments right now, because I love this feature. Basically, what we can do is you can see right now when I switch between the two windows, the file name changes down here, which is great and it's nice to know, but I want to be able to always show what the file is. So using our general knowledge that we've gained from reading help status line, of course, right? Because we've all read this. You've read it, right? You've read it. Anyways. Assuming that you've read this, you know that there are some modifiers that we can use, which pretty much just is something like percent %f means, hey, we've got a path to the file in the buffer. Okay, so what I want to do is I'm going to do set winbar equals percent %f. Now, what this is going to do is it basically is saying set the winbar, which is kind of like status line, but individual windows, set that to the file name. So if we press enter here, you'll notice that just above at the top here, we got both of these brand new names. And so now I can see the path to both of the files that I'm editing, which is really convenient. And we can do anything that you'd normally be able to do with this, like hello, and then uh, space or something, and you can type that in, right? So it's just like a normal status line, anything you know about that. Most of the new like status line sort of Plugins probably already are supporting this feature or will be shortly as it gets a little bit more maturity. Um, so if you're not familiar with how to do this, that's okay. Probably soon your status line plugin will cover this. Um, I've kind of been leaning towards the idea of doing something like percent equals. This basically just means put the text to the right side of the screen. I just kind of like it on the right. I want to do percent M, which tells me whether a file is modified, a space, and then the file name. That's kind of where I've been feeling for like how I want mine to look. I'm still in the midst of tweaking it, but I wanted to get out this video. So basically though, what happens now is when I edit a file, I still get to see this nice plus that lets me know, ah, I haven't saved that file yet. Cause sometimes, you know, you're writing some code, you switch to a different buffer, you're writing some other code, you run the tests and the tests don't pass. And you're like, how is this happening? Why isn't what's going on? I didn't save the file yet, right? It's just like a classic, classic kind of problem you might have. So I like to keep that around to know whether I've saved the file or not, or if I have any changes. Then when I write the file, that plus sign will disappear. That's just built into the normal status line stuff. Nothing too crazy there. Regardless, so that's pretty much the main parts of the feature. It's possible to set particular different uh, win bars for different files and other things using the normal sort of semantics that we have for window options. Um, maybe we'll do a follow up video. If anyone has some questions, leave them in the comments about what you're thinking about this feature. And with that, I think that's just the demo of WinBar. Super excited to be using it. I'm going to be tweaking mine a little bit and uh, maybe I'll do an update when I figure out what I really sort of like to see in my WinBar. Anyways, thanks everybody. I'll see you later.